Hey guys, Will Barrett with FB Marine Group. Really excited to have you all with us today. We're gonna to be doing a walkthrough on this brand new 2023 Contender 30 ST. And in addition to that, we're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with a brand new Contender 28T. So come on board and check out these awesome boats. So welcome aboard the 30 ST, guys. This boat features uh, twin 300 Mercury Verados. Uh, these are the V8s. Gives this boat a top speed in the mid 60s with a cruise in the lower to mid 40s. In the back here, we got two 45 gallon live wells. On the back here as well, we have a full down rear seat. Coming up to the helm, we have the uh, fixed back leaning post. You also have the option of getting a fiberglass leaning post if you want with a cooler. And you can even put LeBrock seats on there if you need. At the helm here, uh, this is the standard sport console. Uh, there is an upgrade if you want to get what we call the M-Series console for this boat. Plenty of real estate on the dash here. We have twin 12-inch uh, Garmin's on here, but you could easily fit twin 16-inch Garmin's. And you have the option for a recessed electronics box if you want. Push button switches, Mercury vessel view display, fusion radio, black carbon wheel. Coming up to the console here. Very nice head compartment with a toilet on the slide. Um, we even did a custom option in this boat where we took the uh, sink out and we put a shelf in to give you plenty of space for tackle storage. Battery switches are in here as well. Then coming up to the front here, we have what we call kind of the traditional layout now on the 30 ST. So what we do is we take a coffin box and we integrate it as a lounger on the front of the console. This is a great option because it gives you a nice comfortable lounge seat gives you plenty of storage up on top here. These can be used as a cooler, a kill box for your fish. You have storage on both sides so you can split it if you want. And then this thing will actually rotate up and it'll give you storage underneath. So it really enhances the storage up here. And then up in the front, we have another massive fish box. We have two rod lockers on the side here. It'll give you plenty of space for your uh, additional uh, gear you have on board. Nice wide gunnel. Gunnels cut at the perfect height for guys fishing. Toes and, are, and your legs line up right with the bolster so when you're fighting a fish, you're safely secure inside the boat. Plenty of real estate on the top of the gunnel for extra rod holders. And then up in the front here, we have a nice big anchor locker for a nice large fortress anchor uh, with plenty of road if you need to for bottom fishing. We can also have the option to put a through hole windlass in there if you want as well. And then finishing up, this boat uh, is equipped with the optional hard top. Uh, as you can see, it's done in a two-tone. Contender does a great job doing a nice surfboard edge here, completely finished. Um, we have speaker boxes in this top. You can add additional lights or wherever you need. Very, very customizable top. All right, guys, so we're currently up in the 30 ST. Really excited to have both the 28 and the 30 here for you today and do a comparison because this is a very common comparison we get with our clients uh, when they're thinking about which boat they want to get. Very similar in size, but there are quite a few differences, so we're going to point those out to you guys to help you guys make the best decision on which model you want to look at. So in terms of length, the 30 ST and the 28 are very similar in size. The 28 is 28 feet, the 30 is 29 feet 10 inches, but really the big difference in my opinion between these two boats is in the beam. You got an 8 foot 10 beam on the 28 versus a 9 foot 6 beam on the 30. And the big difference, as you can see, is that on the 28, we can only have one live well, but in the 30, that extra eight inches of beams allows us to get dual live wells on the back, what we see on a lot of the bigger contenders. In addition, this boat also, with the extra beam, has additional 100 gallons of fuel, so 180 in the 28 versus 270 in the 30. So it gives you a little bit more cruising range when you move up to the 30. Up at the helm here, very similar. Same console on both boats actually. So both boats here had the sport console. Uh, but on the 30, we have the ability to put what we call the M-Series console on here, uh, which has some very unique features such as the curved windscreen, uh, as well as a different side door, and um, has a bigger dash space. Leaning post options are pretty much the same. You have an option if you want to get a fiberglass lean post in both boats here. And then going up to the front, this is where we have another pretty uh, big difference with these two boats. So in the 30, this boat has two forward fish boxes. 
uh, one right in front of the console and then the big one up front, whereas the 28 only has the one. And what that allows us to do with the 30 is it gives us the ability to do a coffin box lounger. So if you want a nice, comfortable lounge seat up front that gives you additional storage, having the 30, we can put integrate this as a lounger on the console, as you see here. And that gives you a nice fish box and cooler on top, as well as having the additional storage underneath and having the fish box. Whereas with the 28, the only other seating we can really do up front is the forward seating like this boat has. A coffin box is available on the 28, but it only can be mounted as an individual coffin box up front on top of the fish box lid. Other than that, the amount of real estate up here in both boats is absolutely huge. Great platforms for fishing. This forward seating you see in the 28 is also available in the 30 as well. Uh, so as you can see, these boats are very, very customizable. But the subtle differences with the extra beam in the, 20, in the 30 uh, give it a little bit more room to do some more things with it. So if you guys want more information, please give us a ring at FB Marine Group. You can go on our website, fbmarine.com. Please check out the Contender website as well and reach out to us and ask for Will, Kim, Randy, or Mike.